Okay, now and now that we're on the topic of contracts, hiring, internships, I've heard this term being thrown around, which is at will, that you're an at will employee or it's an at will employer. What does that mean? So an at will employee in Illinois um, and in other states is kind of the generic term of what kind of employee you are, meaning um, you can be fired at any time and you can quit at any time. OK. Um, and basically, you could be fired for any reason or no reason. It doesn't matter at all. Um, so that's what at will employment is. Um, that is opposed to just cause employment. Just cause employment is a contract between you and the employer. And it has to really be clear that you can only be fired for certain reasons or after a certain process. So for example, federal uh, employment, a lot of times has just cause employment that they can only be um, fired for a particular reason after a process is in, uh, in, uh, initiated um, and then they can be fired. So that's the difference between at will and just cause. And many times when you have an employment agreement, you're reiterating the fact that they're at will. So all this notice and all that, I mean, that's nice to put in an agreement, but at the end of the day, when you're at will, you can leave at any time and you can be fired at any time. Um, and I guess what I would say to certain employers is be careful in your employment contract, not to change somebody into a just cause employee when you don't want them to, right? So when it's, for example, in the termination provisions, you don't wanna put, um, you can, you'll only be fired or let go after three warnings and then this will happen and that will happen. So you don't want to create those um, hoops for you to let go of an employee. And remind us, is this something that the employer decides or is it the state that, uh, is it like a state distinction or is it an employer distinction? No, so the employer can make um, the decision. The generic rule in Illinois at least is at will. So, you know, there are times where you can have a, uh, employee never have anything in writing you just send them an email and you know I've done this too depending on the position I'll just send an email that you are an hourly worker um, you'll be paid XYZ per hour you're at will and you just list the primary terms and you don't you, you might not even need a full contract right mm. uh, because maybe they're temporary or whatever the case might be um, so yes you as an employer get to decide but if you don't have anything, then the generic will be there, um, which is at will, at least here in Illinois.